am Mira. You are in no danger here. Do not be afraid. I'm still on EDN 3. Let's agree to disagree. Rest. Your treatments have taken well, but your wounds were grave. My wounds? Yes, I fell. Hard. I should be dead. Over there. Wait, I've seen you before. With the satellite relay and the abandoned base. You led me there. You deserve to know the truth about this world. How long have I been here? 12, 13 days. What? We use the planet's nectar. My father's science. Sister, I've rehabbed injuries before. I should have been down for months. So, all respect to your daddy's nectar. But one of us is a crazy woman here. Wait, where's my rig? I will take you to it, I promise. For now. Rest. Look. Princess. Unless you're planning to break my legs again, I need to check in. And you're gone. That's great. Not a prisoner was the band door. Hey, 
It is a dark day. The ghost of our greatest foe returns to haunt us. A thief in our midst, here to steal our life blood. Should not have come. Did you think we would forget? Stop! Stop, Father, please! Nina, what do you know of this thief? Forgive me, Father. It wasn't him. It was me. I had to heal him. I've been watching him. He is a good man, Father. He will not allow harm to come to us. I ask only that you trust me. Nina pleads for you. She is young. She is not a fool. Precious is the cost our people paid to save you. You will pay us back. I convinced him not to kill you. Yeah, I caught that. He was part of the original colony? My father and all of the elders. Abandoned here by Nevik. Forty years of unimaginably brutal winters have magnified his hatred. Come back with me. We can help get all of you off this planet. In time, he may be convinced. Meanwhile, you have a debt to repay. No problem. My rig's got a tank full of the energy. That won't do. What you collect is far too dirty to replace what I took to mend you. But there is another way you can repay your debt. It will require your construction rig. Just point me in the right direction. At least they didn't kick me out of the camp with just my pistol. Let's see what this thing can do.
like we're good here. Sight for sore eyes. Let's get you back on your feet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Testing one, two, three, radio check. Cronus, it's Jim. You read me? Jim Payton here, back from the dead. You copy? Yeah, I must be out of range. Jim, you got your rig working. Oh, hi. You, uh, have a radio. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she'll pull through fine. Good. You will need it for this task. There is a health crisis among my people. We have had a breakout of Waltling's disease in the camp. Even our healing techniques are ineffective against it. I remember getting vaccinated for that before I left Earth. They've had that cured for years. Only if you have access to test medicine. We did find a misplaced medical supply drop in Pickett's Folly, but it is inaccessible to us. If you could unseal that pod, it would truly save lives. You will need your rig's winch to access the area. What makes you so sure I'll even help you? I have watched. I have listened. Jim Payton is a man who pays a life debt. You saved your comrade, the Frenchman, the day you arrived. Maybe not my finest decision. Beyond that, we have what you need. Your people seek to harness this planet's energy as we have done. I hope that we can help you in due time, but first there is much that must be healed. Prove your virtue...
Still got it, Peyton. That must be the medicine. Hope it's still good. Looks like we're good here. You did it! We will get this to our doctors right away. In the meantime, my father wishes to see you. Follow me. So this is why you were following me? Why you saved my life? You had errands only my rig could run? I watched you because I learned from what I see. I saved you so that you would not die. Great. You've got the saying nothing thing down pat, you know that? Listen, princess. Wait, are you really a princess? Is your father the king? We have no kings. He leads only in that he leads. Down pat. I mean... It is he who led the Forgotten to safety, taught us to survive. 
He calmed the Great Frenzy and learned how to harvest this planet's nectar without causing another. Yeah, again with a nectar. That's a ridiculous word, by the way. It is apt. I'm sorry if it troubles you. Now I'll get over it. The Forgotten is nice, though. Oh, what's up? A breach. Were you followed? Followed by who? Perimeter breach! We need assistance! This way! Go on ahead of me. I will provide support from the parapets. Go! I need to close the gate behind you. Go! Before pe
aggressive when attacked. Come, Jim. My father awaits. A man of honor and a Nivik uniform. A true paradox. You hate them like you know them well. You were Nivik too once. Long ago, I was. We came here from Earth as you did. Come to tame the wilds, rendering fire from ice. We were unprepared. Look, Chief, I don't claim to know what you've been through, but I know the odds you're up against. You're not wrong that we're here for a reason, but it's not to bring you harm, I swear. Let me help. Let me talk to my boss, Braddock. Silence! And extends. They beckon, coming from the cold. Long have we waited. When they fled to ships and flew away, I was certain they would return. If we could just last a week, surely they would come back for us. Persevere for a month. No doubt our rescue would follow. If only we could survive a year, or five, or ten, or thirty-six! For two generations, we survived without their compassion. Invisible, cheating death. And finally, you would lead them to our door. Assurances of safety. <laughs> Trust. Do not be discouraged, Jim. It is much to ask of him, and we have only just begun our work. Please, enjoy the hospitality of our camp, such as it is. You may find some things you need, and it is good for our people to see you are a friend. When you are ready, meet me outside the camp gates. They call us elders, those of us who came from Earth. I know we don't look our age. Some think the exposure to all this tea energy keeps one young and strong. Others think the cold temperature preserves you. As for the young ones, the snowborn, they have no idea what an 80-year-old is supposed to look like. You. I'm Francesca Vittorti. I manage the school. Do you have children? I do. Baby boy back home. Then I will not need to explain to you. The children are our animating force, our hope, our reason to persevere. We try to cultivate each one, show them our ways, teach them our skills. Not just to count and to read, but to survive in this place of all places. 
I hope you are able to get back to your family soon, Jim. In order to repay your life debt, one task remains. There is another installation from the First Colony, closed to us, but your machine may breach it. There are resources there we can use, supplies and weapons. Whoa, weapons? It's a little intense for a first date, don't you think? One does not arm one's enemy. My father does not believe you will help us. This will convince him you mean no harm. I'll be back before supper.